Alex Trebek lie. Okay, not really. But in all reality, when he would go on the commercials and explain the 995 rate lock, guaranteed acceptance, there were a lot of variables that people weren't made aware of through the commercial. Now, fine print would tell you a little bit. When you sat with the sales rep, they would say, well, actually, and then they'd go on this big long spiel. I'm gonna help us understand a little bit better how this all works. In a previous video, I broke down the differences between traditional life insurance and planning through the funeral home. Now, today we're gonna to dive in a little bit deeper, the cost. Over here, we're gonna break down a few different things regarding the cost of a funeral versus a life insurance policy. Now, the cost of a funeral, there's a lot that goes into it. For an example, you've got the basic services of funeral director and staff. That's going to be the funeral director, someone like me taking on the permits, the paperwork, the logistics, the documentation, notifying social security, obtaining the death certificates, all kind of bundled into that basic services. Then you have something like transportation into our care. That's gonna be the process in which we send the funeral director or the local transportation company to pick up your body and bring you into our care at the funeral home where embalming takes place. Once the embalming is prepared, there's a lot more that goes into cosmetizing, dressing, and casketing. And then you end up getting yourself into things of the service, like the funeral service and the viewing. That's not even to talk about yet the casket, or the flowers, or the printed materials, like the service folders. As you can see from our example here, all of these costs add up, and when they add up, they add up quick. You're gonna find today's cost for a funeral is gonna be about nine to ten thousand dollars on a traditional funeral, and that's pretty fairly priced. Caskets come in a wide variety. That's gonna be explained in my previous video, linked up above. Now you can see how the cost is going to vary widely going from something as a simple basic steel casket all the way up to a pine box. Now, all of these costs are just the funeral home side. But then what do I do with your casket? We go to the cemetery. That's where you're gonna get things like the cost of the plot, the opening and closing, the outer burial vault, endowment care, the headstone. All of those costs add up to be a pretty significant amount as well. Now, since we're on the topic of life insurance and pricing and how this all works and what does it all mean? When you have a pre-planned policy to the funeral home, these costs are all going to be locked. They're going to be secured permanently for the rest of your life. Once you've paid it off, whether all at once or over a short amount of time, it's paid off and you never have to worry about it again, regardless of whether you live 10, 15, 50 years from now. A 25 year old is going to watch this video and think, hmm, I should probably plan my funeral. I'm not going to need it for another 60, 70 years, but those costs are going to keep going up if I don't. So from that point of view, you start to see how pre-planning isn't just for the elderly. Now what you can find is that a traditional life insurance policy is going to be backwards. Instead of a set time in which you pay it off, you're going to pay on that for the rest of your life. Now. That monthly cost may be minimal, but that total amount is going to diminish in value as inflation increases. So what used to be a $10,000 funeral policy, well, now you can see that's only covering half of the cost of the funeral. When you pre-plan through a funeral home, not only are you paying for it and getting it taken care of at today's pricing, all of your wants and wishes are on paper. So when you sit down with a pre-planning advisor like me, you're going to be able to understand exactly what you want and know exactly how much it costs today if you were to pass away. What that means is you have clarity of mind, you have a better understanding of what you're thinking you want and what can be changed. And then when the time comes that you inevitably pass away, your family really doesn't have to make a whole lot of decisions outside of maybe the time and day in which they want to service because unfortunately we can't plan that well. Now you know the differences between life insurance and pre-planning through the funeral home and how they're both beneficial, but having the right kind is paramount to your family's experience after your passing. Don't forget to subscribe. As you subscribe, more people know, and knowing is half the battle.